This is Pastor Curry, pastor of the Isaiah Fair Baptist Church, Wilmington's most exciting church. I want to take this opportunity to share with you that we're getting ready to have an amazing interview with Brother Justin Wright. He is a lifelong member of the Isaiah Fair Church family, and I'm looking forward to what God is about to do in his life. Take a moment and just listen to this interview as we interview he and his wife and children. God bless you. Man, it's a great opportunity, Brother Justin, to take this time to really spend some time with you talking. Um, you have done so much in your life, and you have been a part of the Ezion Fair church family for almost my whole pastoral ship. I remember first meeting you uh, at a funeral we had at Ezion Fair, and I saw how you were so progressive, and you were able to handle the funeral, and I was very impressed. So I remember asking you, how old are you? And you told me, and I was mesmerized at the age that you told me you were at the time. And since then, we have formed a personal and friendship as well as a spiritual one. And today, I just really want you to help me to understand how, why at this point in your life, you're doing very well, your business is doing very well, you are doing well in your faith as well as in, 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 in your, your business. But why at this point are you interested in running for the mayor for the city of Wilmington? Uh, Pastor Curry, first, thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, clearly, uh, being a son of Wilmington, being raised here in Wilmington, Delaware all my life, the same passion I had when I first decided to run for office is the same passion that I exude today. I am Wilmington. Uh, I believe that we need a neighborhood mayor, one that actually caters to the citizens of the city of Wilmington, and we do not let to look to the classes of people. Um, at the end of the day, I believe we need to restore public trust and not special personal interests in all ways and in all things that we do. Yeah, and, I, and I certainly agree with you, you are born and bred here, and what I've always admired about you is that you, you have never been bought, and you've never been bossed by anyone, you've been able to have the campaigns that you um, have run, and have run them successfully. But as all the members of these are fair, I'm praying that they will be very much in support of you, but the question I guess you would have to answer is, why should the members of these are fair uh, vote for you to be the next mayor of the city of Wilmington? Um, that's simple. Uh, at the end of the day, the members of Ease Iron Fair, they know my work, uh, they see my work. Uh, they have been champions over the years. And most importantly, because at the end of the day, we're trying to bridge the gap. We're bridging the gap not only for Ease Iron Fair, we're bridging the gap for that little boy that's outside on the corner. We're bridging the gap for every citizen, every senior, young and old. We are here bridging the gap. We need your support uh, to make Wilmington what it can be, what it should be, and that is ensuring that we cater to our neighborhoods. Yes, and, and another question I was interested in asking you is that you have been a great son of e Zion Fair. I mean, it doesn't matter what we have involved ourselves in personally, you and your family have supported us. Your wife is a trustee here. Uh, you were an executive assistant. Um, your sons are very active in ministry here. You're not a person who just show up to a church or hold a Bible in the air. You are a part of the faith upon which you you, you, you stand in. Um, what is it that you would like to share with the Ezion Fair Church family, as well as the Wilmington community, um, about how your faith has connected you uh, to your servitude in society? Um, when we think about faith, uh, at a young age, uh, I grew up in Methodism, <laughs> not in Baptism, if you will, I made a word. Um, but nevertheless, uh, faith has been strong uh, and pointed in our lives. We know that with everything we do, there is a source and a power uh, that is above us. And so we lean to that source, we lean to that power, which gives us the strength to ensure we have the fortitude to strengthen what remains, uh, strengthen others, strengthen communities, build families. And basically, that's who I am today. Uh, without Wilmington, I would not be who I am today. So Wilmington, we need you, we appreciate you, and I thank you for all you've done for me. And I'm just looking to give just a portion of what you've given me back to you. You know, people have asked me, why are you supporting Justin Wright? And one of the things I can remember so finally is my fourth anniversary. You were the guest speaker. And the sad, the interesting reality is that you preached better than some of the preachers who were considered to be the ordained, the called, and the elect of God. So I've always watched and paid attention to God having his hand in your life. And I'm proud to say that I'm your pastor one, but I'm also proud that God has blessed you to get to a point where the people will trust you. You're right, you are a son of Wilmington, Delaware. You went to school in Wilmington. You were raised in Wilmington. You served the community in Wilmington. 
and we appreciate that. Uh, how can Zion Fair and the Wilmington community support your campaign? Uh, what, what is there any way you can share with us how we can be a blessing to make sure you land successful? Well, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, there are a couple of things uh, the Design Fair we need to support. One with messaging, uh, messaging support in that you are out here sharing that we are looking to ensure that the neighbor goes back in the neighborhood, ensure that we are placing the public interest above any special personal interest, and then at the end of the day also remembering that we're bridging the gap. Uh, we want to bring City Hall to your community, so we need you to help stay on message, help relay that message to everyone that you know uh, that has an opportunity. Also, we would like to have the support of the members of Design Fair if you can uh, create an opportunity where we may be able to share our message with other individuals. Uh, it's all about messaging and making sure that Wilmingtonians understand that we're here for them. Uh, it's not about me, but it's about the city of Wilmington. Uh, also, uh, money matters at the end of the day. So if you uh, are so fortunate and able uh, to support Right for Wilmington, Justin Wright for Mayor of the City of Wilmington, as a Democratic candidate, we would appreciate uh, your financial support. Uh, and then, uh, most of all, just your prayers at the end of the day. We look for the prayers uh, from Design Fair. We look for the support and the strength. So we need to vote. We need you to vote. We need you to encourage the vote. And most importantly, vote. Well, Brother Justin, let me assure you that Design Fair, as you, everyone knows, we are a tithing church. And I believe, and I want to say to all the Design Fair church family, this is one of ours. And we do stick together as a church. Whenever we move, we all move together and the full weight of our church is going to be behind you. Um, and I ask all of Zion Fair to please make sure you donate to Brother Justin Wright. This is an opportunity for us to be able to, be able to bring back the city to the neighborhood. He said it himself, and this is what we've been trying to do. We don't have the big dollar givers. Uh, he may not have all of that, but what he does have is he has those small donations that you may be able to provide for him. So I ask that you would please support him Support by giving to Justin Wright, and he, I'm sure he'll do well. All right, so God bless you all, and have a smile. Before I go, Brother Jay, I do have one more thing I wanted to ask you. Is there anything you want to leave with Ezion and Fair in the world to um, First of all, uh, I want to say thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, your prayers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your faith. Thank you for your trust. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's one word that I cannot exhaust enough. Because without you, uh, without your support, without your unctioning of me being in public office, uh, I could not be where I am today. So I'm thankful for all this support over the years. I don't take it lightly. And today, uh, I'm thanking you for the support that you will lend to us in the future. So again, we thank you. Tristan, it's a joy having you with us this morning. And I just wanted to know from you, uh, why do you feel that your husband uh, would make an excellent mayor for the city of Wilmington? Pastor Curry, first I want to say thank you for um, allowing me to come talk to you and um, you know share my expressions about Justin. Um, yes, I am super excited about Justin running for mayor of the city of Wilmington. And I am, I absolutely believe without a shadow of my doubt that yes, Justin is ready to become mayor of the city of Wilmington. And let me tell you some reasons why. Justin graduated early at the age of 16 from high school. He obtained his funeral director's license at the age of 20. He became the youngest member to hold an at-large seat on city council at the age of 24. That shows progression. Second, he operates, owns, and manages three different funeral homes in three different states. He's licensed in four different states. He manages and oversees about 25 employees, and he manages multiple bu budgets. That shows experience. He served two terms on city council. That's eight years of public service. That shows knowledge. He is a Wilmingtonian, born and raised in the city of Wilmington. I am a Wilmingtonian, born and raised in the city of Wilmington. We live and reside in the city of Wilmington. We, have, we raise our family, our children in the city of Wilmington. That shows stability. So yes, absolutely, I do believe that Justin will make a great mayor. With all of those qualifi qualifications combined into one, that shows exemplifies leadership. De uh, dedication and commitment. So yes, Justin is Wilmington, he is Wilmington, we are Wilmington, and he will make a great mayor for the city of Wilmington. Let me also um, ask, there are some things probably that um, we would not know about Justin just by looking at him on the offset. Uh, share a few things with us that will really help us to understand and know Justin on the human side. So a couple things, let me give you a couple fun facts about Justin, some personal and then some public. Um, his favorite seafood is, um, his favorite food is seafood. 
When he met me, though, he told me his favorite food was spaghetti. That's because I love spaghetti. So I think he was just trying to win me over. But he loves crab cakes and corn, all right? Most people might not know, or some people probably do know, his favorite color is navy. So one thing public that people might ask, where has Justin been? Where has he been in the last four years? What I want everyone to know right now is Justin will always be a public servant. He operates and owns a funeral home. His model is providing comfort and compassion at the right time. That shows that he is dedicated and has a vested interest for his people. So Justin has been working behind the scenes. He's always across running around the city and he does things like back to school drive, back to school drives, scholarships, giving money back to the community. So even though you might not see him, he is indirectly and directly working for his people, the constituents of the city of Wilmington. Um, I just want to, before we leave, to say to you, Trista, that I am very proud of you and Justin. Um, as your pastor, um, watching y'all Sunday after Sunday here with your children, worshiping, your faith has played a very strong role in y'all's success. I would, I'm, I'm, I'm here to testify that both of you own your own businesses, raising two healthy children. Those things matter when trying to deal with a community. How can one leave the city when they can't even leave their own home? So we appreciate you taking the time. What would you like to say to your Ezai and Fair Church family and those who may be viewing this uh, uh, to, to support your husband in this quest? All right, so church family, again, family and friends, our constituents to the city of Wilmington, I want to say again, please, 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 we are super excited that Justin, my husband Justin Wright is running for mayor of the city of Wilmington. We are asking, we need all hands on deck, please come out September the 15th and vote in our primary election. That is our crucial election time for to come out and vote and cast your vote for Justin for mayor of Wilmington. We're asking for all donations. Please, um, within the next couple of days, actually tomorrow, we will be doing our first um, grassroots campaign for donation. It is called Freedom Friday. We want everyone to just start donating whatever you can to Justin for mayor. That's his cash app, just hashtag or Justin dollar sign, Justin for mayor. Freedom Friday will be our first push on Friday. Donate anything that you want. Saturday and Sunday, we're going to give you a little bit of break. We're going to come back on Monday for Magical Monday. Donate again. So we're, again, asking everyone to donate. Come support Justin, whether it's volunteer, whether it's uh, T-shirts, dropping literature, working at the polls. Please call our office, 302-762-8448. Um, just to um, say I want to help Justin in any way necessary. Tuesday, we're going to come back to you again. This is for our teens. This is for our young adults. It is going to be $2 Tuesday. So we're asking everyone, donate on Tuesday for $2 Tuesday. And Thursday, we're going to come back around for Thankful Thursday. So what we're doing is we're asking everyone, anyone who feels old, young, new, new people to the city of Wilmington, come out and support Justin. And then we're going to turn right back around on Friday for Freedom Friday. So we're going to run this all through the remaining month of July, all through August, and up until September the 15th. Please come out and support and remember to vote because Justin is Wilmington. We are Wilmington. September 15th in a primary election, vote Justin Wright for mayor. And I think I want to make sure that that's said very clearly that September the 15th is the most important date. We must all show up. Everyone must put their hands together from Ease Iron Fair, put their hands out there, be out there, wear the shirts, do what you have to do, Ease Iron Fair. This is ours. This is not a, a volunteer endorsing a politician. We are endorsing our own. So Ezai and Fair on September 11th, not only do we want you to vote, but if you live in, on September the 15th, excuse me, I'm sorry, but if, if, if you live in Newcastle, then we need you out there volunteering. We need you knocking on doors. We need to make sure that you're handing out those masks, whatever we gotta do to ensure the victory on September the 15th. God bless you.